The Setup app allows administrators to create and manage users in the TT platform. You can give users various admin privileges, you can assign them accounts and give them rights to trade, and give them permission to view market data on various exchanges. This lets you set up a variety of users, including traders, brokers, or risk administrators. This area is also where you go to send and monitor invitations sent to users to provide them with access to the TT environment. To set up a user, we go to the Users tab in the Setup app and click New User. You will be asked to identify this new user as either an employee of your company or not. If you would like to invite and fully manage users that are not employees or members of your company, which includes paying for the user's market data and transaction charges, you could select No. For this example, we will select Yes and click Continue. On the new screen, enter user information in the Identification and Contact Information sections. Required fields are noted with an asterisk. Let's add our contact information and use our default office location assigned by TT for billing and reporting purposes. In the status section, select a trade mode. For this example, we will set up a user with access to all automated and algorithmic trading tools such as AutoSpreader and AutoTrader by selecting TT Pro. We'll use the default settings in the other sections, including the premium OMS services, for advanced order management. We can enable advanced settings and configure custom fields, user groups, and company sharing relationships for this user as needed after they've been added to the company. When we check the box next to our user in the data grid, additional tabs are displayed. We can see the information we created during setup under the Settings tab. We can also see that even though we have created the user, we have not yet sent them an invitation to join our company. Before we do so, let's configure their settings and permissions. On the Permissions tab, we can leave Admin Permission at None, but we will need to uncheck Disable Trading to allow this account to begin trading. We need to click Save before we move on. Under Accounts, let's click Add to allow this user to trade. Accounts are assigned to Exchange Connections, which provide users access to specific exchanges. We will assign this user to the client XYZ account, which is associated with the company's CME connection. After assigning an account, we can now provide order permissions. We click the checkbox next to the account name to display the list of permissions for using this account. We are going to allow this user to delete and modify orders and use all of the order types and trading features. For a complete description of each order permission, refer to our online help library. We then click Save. We can now provide user access to an exchange. We'll click the Exchanges tab and select an exchange. Next, click the Subscriber Market Data tab to enable market data access for the user. Click Allow to subscribe to each product group. Then, use a session field to set how many concurrent sessions the user can be logged into for that product group. We will be billed monthly for market data for each session, so we'll start with just one. We can always add a second session later if we would like to, for example, allow for simultaneous market data access for both a computer session and a mobile session. Next, click Order Routing to configure the exchange required settings for our user. Order routing requirements vary by exchange. We will be trading on CME, which requires an operator ID, so we will enter that here. If the user needs an automatic trading system operator ID, or if their firm requires a self-match prevention ID, we would enter that here as well. For this user, only the operator ID is required. We do have the ability to apply limits on a specific user, but for this case we are setting limits at the account level and would like to apply them here. To do so, we need to be sure Apply Limits is unchecked since we are not applying user limits. On the Agreements tab, we can view the status of market data agreements to see which have been accepted by this user and which are pending. Since our user hasn't logged in yet, we see the CME Market Data Subscription Agreement has a status of outstanding. Access to different environments, such as simulation, production, and delayed prices is granted in the Environments tab. Fixed sessions are not required for this user, and there is no login history or change logs yet. We'll use the default company IP address restrictions. Our user does not require application keys for authenticating their own trading applications, so there are no app keys. A list of URLs and connection types available to the user for accessing the TT platform are shown in the Access Lines tab. When updates are made to our user data, we can view the changes on the Change Logs tab. Now, with our user created and configured, we can return to the Settings tab and click Send Invitation. This will send an invitation to our company to the email address for that user. The invitation will prompt them to create a TT account or log into TT with the account that they have set up previously. Once they have logged in and accepted a user agreement, they can begin trading. For more information, visit our website at tradingtechnologies.com.